Nearly everyone who lives ever feels uncomfortable the first time they see themselves singing on camera. I'm here today to tell you that if you can push through that, you will grow massively as an artist. What's up people? My name's Trevor Hunt. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're not new here, welcome back! I'm glad you could join me today. Today, we'll discuss the benefits of recording yourself singing and six mistakes you need to avoid. Hearing yourself on a recording will have massive benefits, even if you're just talking. But this video isn't about talking, it's about singing because I'm a musician. I thought of three main benefits from this, but I'm sure there are more. These are just three big ones. I'm gonna say them right now. The first thing that you'll benefit from is being able to see yourself perform. Watching your own performance has massive benefits because you can see awkward ticks that you're doing, anything that may be weird or uncomfortable, and you can change those. If you don't see something wrong, you don't know that you're doing it and you can't fix it. Number two is hearing pitchiness. If you watch yourself singing, you can oftentimes pick out notes that don't sound right. But in the midst of singing a song, it's very difficult to catch that the note is wrong. Unless you have in-ear monitors and a really good sound guy, it's going to be hard for you to catch that. For me, this was the largest area of growth that I experienced. Go back five years to any other covers you've seen and you'll hear how pitchy I really was uh, if I haven't deleted them because some of them were really bad. <laughs> Number three is recording your progress. Over time, if you get in the habit of recording yourself like once a week singing, even if you don't post it to YouTube, just keep it on your phone, you will start to hear yourself get better as long as you're practicing. If you don't practice, you won't get better. But the whole point of recording yourself over time is so you can improve. I'm always looking at it, I'm thinking, how can I improve? How can I grow? What's 1% of growth I can get out of that? That's a mindset you should have as well for your music and your life in general. It will take you far places, I promise you that. Let's jump into the top six mistakes, at least the ones that I thought of, to avoid when recording yourself. Number one was the mistake I made personally, that's posting videos too soon. I recorded myself, but I didn't really know how to, so I used very poor equipment, very poor editing, no color grading, no real good sound. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. And so I started posting videos on YouTube too soon. They got no views and I had no confidence because of that. Don't post too soon. Maybe show a trusted friend or someone you know who could critique you and help you improve. I would say make like five videos and post the sixth one. That'll help you iron out any of the kinks with the first five. People don't need to see everything you do. Remember, when you put it out there, you gotta put out your best, especially as a performer, so that you can try to book shows off of that and get paid for what you're doing. Number two is the exact opposite. You never post videos and you never seek feedback. If you never share it with the world, you never know how to improve, you never grow. And honestly, what's the point? If you're making music, people wanna hear it. Let's hear it, get it out there, man. Put it out there, or woman, doesn't matter. Share your stuff. Number three, being too critical of yourself. Listen, no one's as hard on you as you are. You're gonna hear every note, every flaw, every mistake, every problem. The guitar's too quiet here, the piano's too loud here, my vocals were slightly off, ooh, I don't like the way I pronounce that, ooh, little things will tear you down. Give yourself grace, remember, 80% is all people are gonna notice. There's a 20% of your video that you're making and putting out there, they're not gonna hear it. They're not gonna notice. You're gonna be singing, 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 and while they're watching you, they got distracted and looked away for half a second. So not every second needs to be perfect, it just needs to be polished. Number five, inconsistent recording or practice schedule. So for one month you do this and you see a little bit of growth, but we don't grow that fast in a month. Really, you need to do this for years. And if you're not consistent with practicing scales, practicing recording yourself, learning new techniques, you're never gonna get better. You've got to be consistent with your practice and with recording yourself. Number six is my biggest one. Do not compare yourself to other people. Music is not a competition. I got into this rut for the first couple years of my music career, big time. Never compare your behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reels. The problem with comparing yourself is this. You know everything about you. You know all your flaws, mistakes, and weaknesses. You don't know everything about the other person. So when you see someone singing on YouTube and you try to compare yourself to them, one of two things are gonna happen. One, you're gonna become arrogant, and that's not cool. Two, you're gonna have your confidence hurt. You're gonna hear them and think, I'll never be that good, I could never do that, they're so much better than me. You have no idea what their journey is, what their story is. You don't know how they got there and how hard they worked to be there. We don't need their voice, we need your voice. We don't need another Trevor Hunt 
We need another you. So don't compare yourself to other people. With all that being said, all you gotta do is get started. Literally, get your smartphone out, start filming yourself singing once a week. Practice a song, sing it. Practice scales, sing them. I don't care what you're doing, practice singing. Especially if you're gonna do some kind of talent show or something, get yourself on camera so that you know what it sounds like and you know what to expect. If this video benefited you in any way, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and share it with a friend or family member you love. God bless you and your family. Thank you for watching, and as always, take it easy.